Hello. Hello. Is this going through? Can anyone hear me? If you are receiving this message, it is because your world is in trouble. In the year of 2113, the community of White Center in Mount View Elementary was in desperate times. The world around you was crumbling, and by then it was too late to make changes. As the trouble increased, more and more of the world that you know slowly disappeared. Let me backtrack a little. My name is Sharif Molecular. I am a scientist. But probably not the type of scientist that you may be thinking of right now. You see, I am a computer. One hundred years in your future, scientists, teachers, and politicians decided to work together to make sure that in the event that the world was ending, their message would be sent back to the past to warn citizens that change needed to happen. You see, history in our world has always been about making changes for the better of the world around us. And now the time has come. You have been chosen to receive this message because your school, your community, and your world need you. We are desperately close to the end of the world as you know it, and without your efforts, all will be lost. Every single one of you has the capacity and skill to make a change in this world, but you have to want to make that change. It will be important for you to understand why our world is this way and how history has changed your world. You will all need to work together to reshape the future. Your future, we are counting on you. Every one of you, every student, every teacher, every person that is in your building, they need to take part and figure out what needs to change in order to preserve the future for generations to come. This will not be the last time you hear from me, as we put together several messages to make sure you know exactly how to proceed. But I need to know that you are all on board to do this work. Dig deep and create a path of change. So I ask, can we count on you? I didn't hear your response. Can we count on you? Oh, you're going to have to do better than that. I am 200 years in the future. I need to hear it loud. Can we count on you? Good. This is Sharif Monacular signing off for now. Hello again from the future. Are you still there? I can't see anyone. Are you still there? This is your scientist computer, Sharif Monacular. I am sure that by now you are wondering how the end happened, what caused the end to come, and why you need to change the future. In the years that you were there, things were really good. People worked together to make life improve for everyone. Students all went to school to work hard and learn. Students worked hard so that they could carry on the work to improve our school and communities. Students helped each other and were happy to see each other. Students supported each other's learning. 
and teachers were all there to support the students. And the community was growing stronger and stronger. Our school and community were so good that families came from all over to get involved. Our communities grew as families moved from all over the world to be here. Our community prided themselves for being a diverse, multilingual, loving community. But soon, something went wrong. People started fighting, drawing boundaries and separating themselves. The demand for land became so great that parks and forests were destroyed to make room for more and more high-rise housing complexes. Soon, people started to only think about themselves and money and how to make more and more money. The cost to live here became so great for some people that they left. Others just demanded more money. Most students left school to work. Some stole from friends, families, and businesses. But almost everybody left school, and education mattered no longer. Money was the driving force everywhere. Families fought over it. Friends fought over it. And neighbors fought over it. And that fighting turned into bullying, which led to violence and killings. Because everybody demanded more and more money, the cost of living went through the roof. Food, supplies, gas and oil became more and more expensive. So expensive that many families had to go without. The demand created an overuse of natural resources. Farms closed, oil dried up, and the forests were gone. This in turn led to mudslides, earthquakes, floods. We left the earth a mess. The government became helpless and useless, and mean people ruled the streets. The police and fire departments were no longer helpful. People feared for their lives. No one was safe anymore. So when you wonder how life got to this place where it is ending, now you know. Now you know why we need your help to make change. I will be communicating back with you soon, one last time. It is up to each of you to make the decision to help and change the world. Until then, I bid you well. Good day. This is Sharif Molecular communicating one last time. Now is the time to make the decision to help your school and your community. It is up to you to change the world so that it doesn't come to an end. It is up to you to protect your school and community that you love. It is up to you, every one of you, to make a change, to make a difference, to step up and be heard. Your challenge is simple. If you could initiate one change in your present life that could shape or change the future, what would you do and how could you use history to justify your ideas? Let me repeat that. If you could initiate one change in your present life that would shape or change the future, what would you do and how could you use history to justify your ideas? That is it. Simply put, it is all about change. 
Mahatma Gandhi, a very great thinker of your time, simply said, be the change you want to see in the world. What things need to change to prevent the end of the world? Environmental changes? Education changes? Political changes? Changes in our community? Changes in how we use our natural resources? What needs to change? So now you have the challenge. This is my last communication from me, Sharif Molecular, the future. Take what you've learned from our past and change the present so that this message from the future never needs to be heard, ever. I know that you can save the world one change at a time. So long, my trusted friends. As I'm ready to sign off, I leave you with two quotes to think about and discuss. They were both written by unknown writers. My first thought, it is not the strongest of species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the ones most responsive to change. And my last thought, if nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. Good luck, good learning, and above all, be the change. <laughs>